Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this side length uh, B, C is uh, 100 units, whereas uh, this side length A, D is 105 units, and this angle uh, A, D, C is 90 degrees, and moreover, M is the midpoint uh, for this uh, side length uh, C, D such that uh, this uh, distance uh, dm equal to this distance mc and moreover these uh, diagonals uh, bm and ac intersect each other at this point uh, e such that all these angles are 90 degrees each and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, distance uh, ab that is uh, represented by this uh, x please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we have connected uh, these points a and uh, m such that we got this uh, right triangle uh, adm and here's our next step we know that this is our midpoint m that means these side lengths uh, are equal so let me go ahead and call uh, this uh, side uh, dm as uh, y units then uh, this side length uh, mc is going to be y units as well let me call this uh, side length am as uh, z let me label this side length ae as a lowercase a and this uh, line segment ec as a lowercase uh, b and this segment m e as lowercase c and this uh, segment e b as lowercase d and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a d m and since uh, this is a right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call our longest leg as our side c i'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula a in our case is y so this is going to become y square plus b is 105 whole square c in our case is z so this is going to become z square so let's go ahead and simplify this thing that is going to give us z square equal to y square plus 110 25 let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and in this uh, next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a e b and now let's go ahead and apply the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem once again and we know that this uh, a b is our longest leg so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula our side lengths are a and uh, d so i can write uh, a square plus uh, d square equal to x square and this equation could also be written as uh, if we turn it around x square equal to a square plus uh, d square let me go ahead and call this our equation number two and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, b e c whose side lengths are 100 b and d and make sure that 100 is the longest leg so let's go ahead and apply the pythagorean formula on this uh, right triangle b e c so this is going to give us uh, b square plus uh, d square equal to 100 whole square and we know 100 square is uh, 10,000 equal to b square plus uh, d square let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number uh, three and now let's uh, focus on this another right triangle uh, m e c whose uh, side lengths are uh, b c and uh, y let's go ahead and uh, apply pythagorean formula so this is going to give us uh, b square plus uh, c square 
equal to y square and this equation could also be written as y square equal to b square plus c square if we turn them around let me go ahead and call this our equation number four and in this uh, next step let's focus on this uh, another right triangle uh, AEM whose uh, side lengths are A, C and the longest leg is Z. So let's go ahead and apply this uh, Pythagorean theorem. So this uh, could be written as Z square equal to A square plus uh, C square. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number uh, 5. And now as a result we are ended up with the five equations as you can see now we are going to manipulate these equations to solve for x and here's our next step let's go ahead and add these equations 2 and 4 and here I have copied down equations 2 and 4 so let's go ahead and add on both sides the left hand side is going to give us x square plus y square and let's add these uh, on the right hand side so we got a square then I can write plus uh, b square plus uh, c square plus uh, d square let me go ahead and call this our equation number six and here's our next step let's go ahead and add uh, equations three and five and here are our equations three and five so let's go ahead and add them up so the left hand side is going to be z square plus uh, 10 uh, thousand equals to when we add these on the right hand side it's going to give us uh, a square plus uh, b square plus c square plus uh, d square let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number uh, seven and here's our next step let's focus on these equations 6 and 7 and now let's go ahead and compare these equations 6 and 7 we know on the right hand side they are identical so therefore we are going to equate these left hand sides so therefore we can write x square plus y square equal to z square plus 10 thousand and now let's focus on this uh, z square on the right hand side and let's focus uh, on equation one z square is equal to y square plus uh, 11,025 so therefore I'm going to replace this z square by y square plus uh, 11,025 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, z square by this y square plus uh, 11,025 and now we can see this y square on the left hand side and y square on the right hand side they are gone so we ended up with the only x square on the left hand side and the right hand side when we combine these constant that is going to give us 21,025 now let's go ahead and take a square root to undo this square I'm going to take the square root on both sides and we can see this square and square root is gone so x turns out to be 145 value so that's our distance so x turns out to be 145 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye